My name is Joel Karn, and I'm still the choral director at Union High School. If you want to work at the airport, I could use this right now. After that first song, oh, that's really nice. After that second song, what the heck was that? What? Is that music? I don't know. I'm not sure. You're reminding me, no, you didn't tell us you were going to do this. So this is cool. To me, it feels like the ghost of Christmas past, Christmas present, Christmas future here in the hotel. I would like to say something a little bit about it. We're not ghosts. It's still there. So. Um, Mike Iverson uh, has been my mentor. I started, when I, when I first started teaching, my, my, uh, my mentor teacher, when I student taught, was this man here. And so, we need to get... He was at Evergreen High School at the time, and then moved over to Union. And, uh, you know, we have a great thing going on here at Union, but I want to know, I want you to know where all that started. Uh, this man has won many awards, uh, including Outstanding Choral Director in the State of Washington by the ACDA, and uh, he was, uh, I think, one of the only choir directors in our area who has ever been invited to take his choir to a national ACDA. They did that in Dallas, I think 2012 or something like that. 13, one year. Um, but anyway, uh, he's been a friend and colleague, and some of the, the best advice that I still use today, it, get this, I remember, um, I, was, I didn't even start teaching, but you said to me, uh, this after I'm teaching my class and we're talking about, you know, what I can do to be better, he says, Joel, just make sure you remember, it's always the director's fault. Said, well, that's not what I want to hear. But, but those words of wisdom have helped me through. Uh, as I experience issues, it makes me reflect, what am I doing? Or what can I do to change the situation? So uh, that has been crucial advice. So I really appreciate, Mike, your, you know, your mentorship, um, your colleague, uh, collegiality, and uh, being my friend and for making uh, things happen here at Union and putting us on the map for a great choral department. This is Mike Iverson here. Now, some of you have may heard rumors um, that this might be my last year, and it is, I'm not gonna change my mind, especially with Margaret here today. <laughs> It's a done deal, um, but uh, I've known Margaret for like 27 years, I think, and I've watched her direct choirs, and she had a professional choir, uh, Bella Voci, Bella Voci, yeah, and uh, I've seen her in the classroom, I've seen her work with choirs, and uh, frankly, and I've told her this, I'm intimidated by your presence here. Um, she is a master teacher, and uh, I've told my students that they are in good hands, no need to worry. We're gonna continue this trend and uh, the tradition of excellence here uh, at Union High School. So please welcome your new director, Margaret Green. Since I first started teaching at Heritage High School, uh, her son Harrison was in my choir. And uh, I think I have a, a former student from way back when, too. Andrew Lyons is here. I think they were in choir together, right? Do you remember? Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, I've known Lori a long time, and it's great. This is kind of like a reunion to be back with Lori, and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Lori College. I'm going to bring. Uh, stage is like unofficial student teacher. Uh, this gentleman asked for, uh, he just wanted to make sure, do I want to get into choral music? I'm not sure. Can I volunteer? So he's been here since August uh, in September working with choirs and I'm going to let him conduct this next song. I think I am, uh, announced this at the spring concert but he was the scholarship award winner of 
of the out-of-state uh, scholarship for PSU. They only give one, one out-of-state scholarship, and, and uh, Diego Mercado won the one and only full right scholarship to Portland State University of Music program there. So let's hear it for Diego. <laughs> Second, we had uh, a men's quartet get first in state. Yeah, 
And then uh, a mixed quartet got first in state, and then we had women's ensemble, the best in the state right here. <laughs> For 
giving me the opportunity to have had an impact on so many lives. Um, but I want to say that what a joy it's been. I think the greatest joy for me is hearing them, the, the improvement they make, to watch them grow and mature. And uh, it, I think it's just amazing that they're able to do probably much more than they think they can. And so I just help them get there. And uh, that to me is a joy. I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss that. But um, I'm excited about what the future holds. And I'm not even sure what that is. But it's on to the next step. And uh, I thank you for your kindness to me here. And even tonight, the kind words that you're saying. I just feel like a normal person who's just doing what he was called to do. Um, but but you're, you're making it seem more than that. But uh, So thank you for your kind words. I do appreciate that. Let's pay attention to some other seniors, not the senior citizen, but the, <laughs> the seniors that are graduating. That's one of those jokes, right? It's not funny when you feel sorry for me, so. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is how this is gonna work. I'm going to call up our seniors. Um, who are graduating this year. This is a bittersweet moment. You know, they've worked hard for four years, and this is their culminating experience, and uh, they too are on a journey into something unknown. Who knows what that will bring? But yay, I'm free from high school, and then um, they'll learn what freedom is really like. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's keep that a secret from <laughs> No, they've accomplished so many things here, and I am very proud of them, all of them, as if they were my own. I'm Hello, I and the rest of the oh, underclass, underclassmen class decided to write something for our seniors, and I compiled it, and yeah, this is it. Dear seniors, before you embark on your next chapter of your lives, we wanted to express our deepest gratitude for the incredible impact you've had on all of us. You made this place a home, a family. Oh, no. <laughs> and within this choir, you inspired us to stay dedicated and true to ourselves. Over these past four years, you've shown us what it means to be driven, motivated, and compassionate. Your determination led us to sweep solo ensemble and come home with eight state titles, including soloists, <laughs> all within these walls. Your compassion was evident in the ways that you handed down your legacy to us, making each moment shared with you truly cherishable. Now as we say goodbye, our hearts are heavy with the thought of your absence, your laughter, guidance, and unwavering support. Whew. <laughs> You've been mentors, friends, and role models, and the empty chairs that you leave behind will only be filled with people who can fill those spots. But we promise to carry forward the values, <laughs> the values and spirit that you've instilled in us. <laughs> and as for Parn, he's not listening. <laughs> And no matter what, as you move on from the school, know that you will never be forgotten. The wisdom and the lessons you've shared with us will live on in our hearts and shape our lives long after you're gone. We will never, ever forget your presence. We will feel it in this classroom, reminding us to always be prepared and on time, which was always a problem for us. <laughs> your impact is unmatched, and thank you for everything. This is something we have going on in the choral department and the concert choir uh, votes uh, in three categories. Two most outstanding singers, most inspirational, and then there's a, a director's uh, department award. And so I'm just gonna read those off now. But I need my, I gotta make sure I get this right. Oh no, it's on right here. So I'll, I'll just do this. This is the perpetual plaque that stays here. They also get an individual and Tatum's gonna hand them that. So uh, let's congratulate these four. The students voted, and Outstanding Singer, 
Cam Garrett. Thank you. 